Motley Pacers are making their way out onto the course for tonight's second race, the $100,000 championship final leg of the Ohio Sire Stakes two-year-old Philly Pace number one. A four-time winner on the season with a mark of 157 and four. This is the Park Place Philly, Tracy Liu. She's owned by Harley Jolliffe, trained by Gail Peterman, and driven by Dave Hawk. A five-time winner with a 156 and three mark taken in an Ohio Sire Stakes event at Northfield in August. Number two is BD's Noble Lady, owned by her trainer Fred Huff Jr. of Jackson, Ohio. She's driven by Walter Case Jr. Having banked over $40,000 in seasonal earnings and finishing in the money in seven of eight starts this year, this is the consistent tan forever. She's owned by Stephen Sexton and trained by driver Chip Noble. Entering tonight's final off a career best 157 and three tally in a sire stakes event at Toledo Raceway Park. Number four is I'm a Sam two, owned by Joe Criswell, trained by Delvin Criswell and driven by David Miller. A three time winner on the season, boasting the fastest mark in the field, a 154 and four win right here at Scioto Downs. Number five is Honey's Bud Light. Owned by LaVira Guillon, trained by Virgil Morgan Jr. and driven by Brett Miller. Coming into tonight's race with a two race win streak and four wins and eight starts in 2002. Number six is Madden America. Owned in partnership by Joyce Wayner and Dreamer Morgan, trained by Virgil Morgan Jr. She's driven by Mike Wilder. Number seven is an earner of nearly $50,000 in her short career with a lifetime best 156 and two clocking at Northfield in an Ohio Sire Stakes event last month. This is a walk in the park owned by Irwin T. Bolding Enterprises Limited of Shaker Heights, trained by Earl Bowman and driven by Greg Grismore. And finally, leading this field in both earnings and wins with eight tallies and close to $68,000 in the bank this year. Number eight is C, C Spice. She's owned by Chuck Campbell of Blissfield, Michigan, trained by Rob Harmon and driven by Jeff Fout. Ladies and gentlemen, that's your field for the $100,000 final of the two-year-old Philly Pace Ohio Sire Stakes Championship leg. Post time in six minutes. Philly Pace. They're off to a very even beginning. It's I'm a Sam 2 with good early speed. And there goes CeCe Spice on the far outside. And Tan Forever from the inside drives through to grab a narrow lead as they enter the turn. Tracy Lou will get the ground-saving trip in fourth, followed by Honey's Bud Light as she and Brett Miller tuck away in fifth, just three and a half lengths off the lead. They're followed by BD's Noble Lady. Then it's Madden America. And a walk in the park is the early trailer. I'm a Sam 2 parked through the opening quarter, looks to clear the top in 27 seconds flat, but she has company. Here is C.C. Spice and Jeff out on the outside, and they want the front end, and they will take it away from I'm a Sam 2 as they pass under the wire with five eights to go. Tan Forever with the pylon ride in third. Tracy Lou is fourth. Honey's Bud Light is first over on the rim, but yet to get into gear. BD's Noble Lady rides her cover, and then we get Madden America inside of the trailer. A walk in the park as they round the turn to halftime, and C.C. Spice is in charge. It's C.C. Spice reaching the half in a solid 50 six and three. C.C. Spice enjoying a two-length advantage on I'm a Sam 2 who's racing in second by the same. Honey's Bud Light has worked her way into third. She's still got three and a half lengths to make up. She's followed by Tan Forever at the pylons. BD's Noble Lady is coming with a three-wide bid and a walk in the park follows her. Tracy Liu is off the pylons but needs racing room and Madden America trails the field that is covered by seven lengths and led by C.C. Spice and they haven't touched her yet. 125 and one. Midway around the far turn, CC Spice by two lengths. I'm a Sam two, reclaims second as Honey's Bud Light tries to hold her ground, but she starts to drop away. Then we get Tracy Lou at the pylons as the field straightens away, and it's CC Spice in command by two lengths. I'm a Sam two closing down the inside. Tracy Lou is third in deep stretch. CC Spice under duress, but they're not going to catch her. She wins the championship leg of the two-year-old Philly Pace in 154 and one. 
Returning to the winner's circle, it's CC Spice. She records her ninth victory in 12 starts on the season, lowering her career best mile to 154-1. and one. For Chuck Campbell, her owner of Blissfield, Michigan, trainer Rob Harmon, she was driven to victory by Jeff Fout. CC Spice is a two-year-old Bay Philly by In the Pocket from Speed Dialing by No Nukes. She was bred by her owner, CC Spice captures the $100,000 championship leg of the two-year-old Philly Pace. In the winner's circle to help make the presentation to the winning connections, the chairman of the Ohio State Racing Commission, Luther Heckman. Equal the track record for pacing. Philly's a great effort. I want to tell you, three wide from the eight hole into a pretty good fraction of 27 going to the quarter. It was tough to get the lead. It was tough to get the lead, but I was just a little bit patient. And once the dust settled, then uh, she went ahead and took herself to the lead. And from there on, it was just like uh, she was the best horse and somebody had to beat her to prove that she wasn't. Indeed, and then down to the half and 56 and three, three quarters, 125 and one. Then came to the top of the stretch. It looked very easy, but it's like she took a deep breath and almost the competition came to her, but she seemed to dig in once again. Yeah, it's uh, never over. It's never Oprah until it's Oprah, you know what I mean? The, uh, but I felt confident going through the last turn and uh, I chased her a little bit, but we're going for a lot of money and uh, you don't want to take any chance and everybody's sneaking up on you. Talk about her confidence. You were confident. You put the whip away uh, about midway in the stretch, and she did all the work, and she was pretty piped to here in the winter circle. She looks like she can go another heat. Yeah, she. Uh, I think she understands tonight's a big night, and she uh, she come with her game face on. And she's headed to Delaware, as most of these Colts and Phillies will, I presume? Yeah, she'll be there, and then that'll be her last start for the year. Congratulations, Jeff. Thank you very much. What a hard-hitting mile by this young filly. You just saw an equaling track record of 154 and 1 for a young filly. A great job, Jeff Fout and CC Spice taking the overland route.